Right now at 6 o'clock, Myrtle Beach City Council approved millions of dollars towards Interstate 73, but there are some provisions attached to that money. News 13's Mandy Martinez is live in Myrtle Beach right now to explain for us how the city plans to contribute toward making I-73 a reality. Manny? Megan and Bob, City Council today stressed the importance of the interstate, listing out safety and economic reasons, but also emphasized that their commitment to help fund I-73 is not without making sure important needs are met. City Council unanimously approved a resolution that calls for $4.2 million annually for 30 years using revenue from the hospitality and accommodations taxes. And the city won't contribute a cent until all six conditions are met, with the three main points being adequate state and federal funding being secured, actual construction for the portion in Horry County starts by the end of 2024, and no money from the city goes toward building parts of the interstate outside of Horry County. Councilmember Greg Smith says the time is now for I-73, or it will never get done. Let's build an interstate. Let's take some of the pressure off the roads in the county. Then we'll have the opportunity to fix them, or the county will have an opportunity to fix them because they won't be so heavily traveled. And Myrtle Beach joins North Myrtle Beach among local municipalities planning to contribute toward I-73. And Governor McMaster has pledged $300 million for the project, which has an estimated price tag of $2.3 Live in Myrtle Beach tonight, Manny Martinez, News 13.